So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology. Welcome to my iOS 16 beta one versus iOS 15.5 speed test. Let's begin with a boot up in three, two, one. And keep in mind, we are using the same type of phones here, 12 Pro on the right, 12 Pro Max on the left. Both do have A14 Bionics and both have six gigabytes of RAM. Point of this test is to find out if iOS 16 beta one performs quite as well as the current official version kind of giving you an idea if you want to download this or not you can see ios 16 beta one did boot up faster than ios 15.5 on the right you can see the all new lock screen right there i did go ahead and add a battery widget as well as a weather widget but it's not loading up properly right there so let's take a look at face id for ios 16 beta 1 you can see unlocks very quick also do note that the face id kind of goes away once it unlocks there and it's pretty small so you can see right there but still just as fast as you would expect but pretty different looking from ios 15.5 you can see a much larger lock on icon let me know which icon you actually prefer here between these two. So quickly confirming the software, you can see we're on iOS 16, 20A5283P. This is the first beta right here. And of course, we're just running the official iOS 15.5, which you might be on and be thinking about, should I download the beta? Now we are in developer beta mode only right now. We will be in public beta next month for pretty much anyone to download but we're gonna get go ahead now and take a look at the app speed see how it does perform but before we do that let's just kind of scroll through generally to see if we do get any chop here for ios 16 beta 1. comparing to ios 15.5 i'm not seeing a drastic difference here even swiping through i didn't really find any delays going to the left there's a slight bit of chop there sometimes on the first time you go over but it's not like that never happened before here on iOS 15.5. Scrolling down, you can see the search bar does come to the bottom now, but overall it seems generally snappy just on you know general OS navigation. It doesn't seem to be a big deal of a difference. You can see right there, scrolling down, see not a major difference overall, even snapping into these quick actions right here, focus modes. Doesn't seem to be bad at all here on the first beta, especially just kind of navigating through generally through iOS. So if you just wanted to download and play around with it, it's not that bad, it really isn't. But we're gonna go ahead and take a look at some apps to see if those run okay for day to day. All right, so we've arrived at the app test. Everything is closed out for both. Let's go into calendar. You can see about the same. Let's go into calculator. Again, pretty similar. Let's go into clock. Again, not a big deal of difference. Let's go into weather. And you can see maybe slightly to iOS 15.5, but scrolling through, not a major change. We'll go into stocks and you can see so far, just general app, Apple apps doing well. We're on developer beta three or beta three Wednesday, the third day of the developer WWDC conference. And you can see pretty similar there. We'll go into Instagram and you can see both loading that at about, actually that was iOS 16 scrolling over here doesn't seem to be drastically different whatsoever apps running well on both we'll go into twitter here we'll go over here to my profile page really quickly and we're in see what people thought about wwdc 2022 overall pretty impressed here with the performance for a first beta I did find in a game earlier, because I usually pre-test before I come into the speed test, I did find that iOS 16 beta 1 and Tempo Run 2 actually started lagging up a little bit. We'll see if it does it here in a speed test. Let's go into ESPN. And you can see ESPN looks to be pretty similar. Let's go into the scores. Got the Celtics and the Warriors tonight. Who do you got? Let me know in the comments. Let's go into Amazon. And you can see pretty similar once again, Best Buy. And you can see Best Buy is gonna go to the left, advertising the new M2 MacBook Air. Are you ordering one of those? Let us know down below. Let's go into eBay. And you can see eBay first there for the iPhone 12 Pro. On the right, we'll go into the Starbucks application and you could see 
faster on the right, but it's this is really quite similar. So I would say generally just, I think it's actually usable even on this first beta. Yeah, you might run into a chop here and there and it's not recommended as your main phone, but on a backup phone or if you have another iPhone, definitely I'd say it's definitely worth trying out to get an idea of what's coming. And I hope that notification didn't delay us here. No, it didn't delay us at all. Actually, iOS 15.5 did load this faster. And this is where I started seeing some chop in this game. We'll see if it happens here within this test. And so far, yeah, it's happening again here. I don't know if you could see it here on video, but it actually was kind of choppy there in Temper Run 2. It's a little smoother here on the right. So some games are probably not gonna work properly here. We'll see if it slows down the rest of the system. Let's go into PUBG Mobile. And it looks like the iOS 15.5 and the 16 were loading this quite similarly. Both of them are kind of to these, this one's at the lobby already, but this one was just loading up stuff prior to being there. So pretty close here on PUBG Mobile, not bad for either. Let's get over to the lobby if we can. Not bad on either. So I think you can play some games here for sure. I think some of the games will crash during your usage, maybe. It might give you a little bit of frame rate issues or you know optimization issues for 16. So if you're playing a lot of games, I wouldn't download this to be like a super optimized gaming phone right now. But going in 3D Mark, no problems. And I noticed right there, just a little bit, looked a little bit chop on 16 beta one, but barely. Let's go into Geekbench 5 and pretty similar. So as you've seen throughout this video, only Tupper Run 2 gave me a little bit of an issue, but majority of applications did quite well for 16 beta one. So definitely I'd say not a bad performer here for its first edition, just generally speaking. Let me know if you've downloaded it, if you've experienced anything crazy or wonky with your day-to-day -day apps, let people know down below because some people are still like, should I download it? How do I download it? Stuff like that and they wanna know if this is worth it for them. Now, what we're gonna do here quickly is just kind of reload applications just to see if they can hold them in the background. Let's see if this gives us an issue for 16 beta one. Again, we're looking at 16 beta one here to see what we do get. And eBay and Best Buy. It's like a little bit of a reload there for 16. We'll go into ESPN, Groupon, no issues, Twitter. Not bad, Instagram, not bad, developer beta, not bad, WWDC or stocks, not bad. We'll go into weather, not bad, clock, calculator, it's, and then we have calendar. So not horrible. Battery life doing okay for me in the past couple days. It drained a lot on the first day, but as it goes on, it's gotten a little bit better, but not drastically amazing on the iOS 16 beta. So do expect the battery hit during the beta process if you do decide to go ahead and use one of these. But overall, just reloading applications didn't seem horrible either. Okay, so I just quickly wanna launch the cameras on both phones just to kind of see if we get any delays, stutters, anything like that on both. Three, two, one. You could see no problems there. And um, let's go ahead and just try 16 beta here to see if we get any shutter delay. Got the ultra wide. Everything looking fine, so a little bit of an issue there. But that was just a focusing thing. So overall, not bad. Of course, on 15.5, this is an official, so we don't even need to look at that. But overall, it looks like you'll be able to use the camera as well. Let's try the lock screen as well here for 16. And a little bit slow, but it got in there. Let's try that one more time. Video, photo, portrait, panoramic. Yeah, so it looks like things are working just fine here for the first beta on the camera. So again, as new betas come out, they could introduce new bugs, which could potentially brick or hurt certain parts of the phone. Usually Apple doesn't allow it to totally brick it, but it will definitely add some new bugs to certain areas of camera and certain areas of the OS. So 
it's just because beta one's running decent doesn't mean beta two, three, four won't introduce new bugs. Keep that in mind though. All right guys, and here is the final Geekbench scores and it looks like iOS 16 beta one actually outbenched the iPhone 12 Pro here with the multi-core score. You can see 3977 versus 3892, but in the single core a little bit better here for the iOS 15.5. So if you go based on the benchmarks, you know, which is definitely just testing the CPU, probably not so much the software, still giving you a similar power here, similar phones. I would say that overall it's not running too bad, especially on my example of the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Um, if you're using an iPhone 8 Plus or something like that, let me know your experience down below. I might consider doing the How Does It Run series again this year where we take a look at some of the older iPhones, see how iOS 16 runs on those as well. So let me know if you wanna see that down below and consider sharing your current performance with iOS 16 Beta 1. There's gonna be plenty more content coming as there has been you know, a lot introduced here. So stay tuned for continuing 16 coverage as well. I'll catch you all in the next one. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Nick here and peace.